friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Days Gone over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo, we're jumping back into the shoes of Deacon St. John. We're going to go ahead and get a little ammo refill from the old uh, saddlebags there and head on inside right after we pick up a couple of ears. Mmm, ears. They're good and good for you. Maybe a wolf skin too, just for fun. All right now, switch back to our less crazy weapons here and just try and find us some yeast. Hope we don't have to seek you see these newts inside. Although, I get the feeling that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. What is that? Superior metal axe? Wow! I will. Yes! That thing looks amazing. Look at that. What is that? I don't even know what that is. It looks like a chainsaw blade wedged in the top of a bat with like some extra metal bits added to the side. That's good stuff. Also, I gotta remember that I have no health. Or rather, I have health. But I have no... There we go. Craft it on up, Deacon. Mmm. Crafting's good and good for you. Craft up some more Molotovs because we wasted all of them. And these uh, pipe bombs came in pretty handy too. Now, if I was yeast, where would I be? Yeast, yeast. Ooh, stuff. All kinds of stuff. All right. Ooh, that, that's exactly where I would be if I was yeast. Yes. Yes. I hope this is enough. Ooh, free gas too. Heck yeah. Probably probably could have used that for the big buff dudes who took like 300 rounds of light machine gun ammo, but you know what uh it's neither here nor there. Oh, and the rain always brings out more zombies. That's not good. Things are getting pretty rough out here. Let's get the heck out of here before more zombies that are St. John built up. Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form for yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is going to be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Okay. Welcome. Yeah, things are gonna get a little tense here. Oh, man. I love the weather effects in this game, though. Awesome stuff. Things are gonna get worse before they get better. I can assure you of that. Also, what an awesome place. Wizard Island? Man. I wish I lived on a place called Wizard Island. That's good times. I didn't know. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that before, but now we have a second. I want to get that out of the way. Just tell you that Wizard Island sounds like a great place to be. I mean, not now with all the militia crap and the fortified walls making it look like Lady Eboshi's Iron Town from Princess Mononoke. Sure, before all this, it was a lovely place. Ah, yes, yeah, nothing like riding a motorcycle in the rain. It really raises the spirits. Oh, whoa, 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 there we go. It's anything like riding a bicycle in the rain, which I can attest to. It sucks. Please. I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, and my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. 
Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. Please, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know we're fine. No, we'll no, one. I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. But of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I'm in for stay. Yes, ma'am. I mean. He can basically survive the zombie apocalypse looking for you. I'm sure he's gonna stay. You know what I mean? That's not a big shock. Alright, now what? Let's go ride our bike in the rain some more. Good times. Turn in some bounties, I guess, while we're over here. No, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John. This is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Busy, hey, Doc. Yeah. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. Whatever you say, St. John out. Well, that did give us another opportunity to see the sweet weather effects, so I'm I'm okay with that. I know the look, huh? Okay. Ooh, up here this time. Yeehaw. We'll go we'll pay a visit to the good doctor. Oh, we rode right past it because I'm an idiot. Eh, eh. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Sendase. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh, let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure uh, dead now. No me mientes. Look, up. I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove, duties. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Yeah, you're not wrong, Doc. You're not wrong. Anyway... Oh God, Taylor. I haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you got in too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at the at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got. Oh shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! Taylor, Taylor. Damn it. Well, Taylor's screwed. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're not gonna you're gonna give me a quick travel to that or a select it? There we go. Ooh man. That one looked like it had quite the out of the way uh St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh Hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate. 
Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? Well, Deacon, silicate is usually found commercially, uh, anyway, uh, in things to keep stuff dry. It's a desiccated. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. <laughs> yeah, Captain, I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area we were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. You know, all these talks are informal. Enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Hurry up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I'm gonna be honest with you, Deacon. I worked for a, uh, let's just say a multi-billion dollar company that, uh, Deacon, we were forced to Deacon. have. I'm here. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about... about you staying and helping. I know this can't be easy for you. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? And if I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. <laughs> oh, I bet. <sighs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I gotta get back to work. This yeast has already filled up, like, half a dozen Petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. So, as I was saying, uh, I worked for a multi-billion dollar company, which you were forced to have, uh, basically a start of shift pep Captain rallies Curry, every, every day. It Pull was back, terrible. It. Move! You heard him! Pull back! Pull back! Russell, report. Sir, we were on a supply run trying to get the Shemult, and we ran into the biggest goddamn whore you've ever seen! Damn it! Move your asses! Come on! Move! You heard the corporal! The corporal. Listen to me very carefully. Get your men out of there. You're not ready to engage. Do you copy me? Yes, sir. You don't gotta tell me twice. Muscle out. Come on, roll it! Let's go! Pull it out! Let's go! 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 Dead Marauders taking out of freeze. Yeah. Very cool of those guys. Corporal St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me at command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. <laughs> Deacon's all like yelling. Of course, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta... Can't miss an opportunity to stab the marauders in the back. The marauders are the people who uh, clothesline us constantly in between the vehicles, just so you know. They got it coming. Also, everybody's, everybody's very talkative on the radio today. I want to make a point of that. Well, at least the weather cleared up. Uh-oh. Come on, boy. Don't give up on us. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Shut up! Hey, ah! 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 Can you hear me? Ah! 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 Get him the fuck out of here. Come on! Ah! What do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. That's the last mistake these people are ever gonna make. In there. <laughs> these people done screwed up. Oh, 
Hold on, Taylor. I just gotta. There we go. Gotta get it set up for war here, man. Give me a little action roll and an action roll. <laughs> Taylor would be heartwarmed to know that you just called him your friend, Deacon. I just want you to know that. This guy, oh man, you picked a bad day to stand in the middle of camp. Bad day to stand out in the open, friendo. No, you didn't. You didn't see that. I'm totally stealthed here. Men coming. All right, stealth. Stealth. The uh, premise of stealth is gone. Let's stop messing about, so to speak. Taylor, you in here, buddy? Uh, can you hear me, Taylor? <laughs> no, that's not right. That's not okay. Got it. How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this. Pull it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I definitely saw somebody sneaking off in the distance there. Action roll. Ooh, bad time for you to be sneaking up on me, friend. Captain Curry, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Curry. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you, dude. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp. Oh, just no. Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, no, no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. What was he doing out there? He's... Yeah, he's gonna live. But no, no idea what he's doing out here. I need you to send doc, uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. Send him forward. I think the bear was just angrier when I said one fire. I don't think it actually did any good. <laughs> I like how Deacon Calm was day just mowing down a rager while I was just on the radio. Yeah, we need to get need to send some people out here, clean this up. Oh, what was that? Jeez. Cougar bobcat piece of crap. Get back here. I'm skinning you now. I'm uh, yeah, come here. I'm taking your flesh is now mine. Thank you. Big cats just come out of nowhere, man. Do not mess with the big cats. Heck, even even like house cats sometimes it's like don't mess with the house cat. They will jack you up. Now now imagine it's like the size of a deer. It's like yeah, that's bad news. That's the bad news. Alright, well, we saved Taylor from his own stupidity. Sadly, I don't think it's going to be the last time. And, uh... Like any good pseudo-military pseudo organization, people are going to be asking a lot of questions while we were out here. Heck, we... They already were. It, it was, like, just transpired ten seconds ago. It's going to be rough. Things are going to get ugly. 
but I mean, in the zombie apocalypse, that's kind of what things do. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Lovely view. Things get ugly. Yeah, I could, I could spend a long time just kind of driving around enjoying the scenic views in this game. Doing, buddy. Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. No, nope. no, nope. no, it hasn't. Uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? And wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later and see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing, it's pretty cushy. Better than being out here, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Huh? You got that? Dig it out. And doc's a good guy. Don't mess with him, Taylor. That should be it. Wait, what did that sign say? Large drink and hot dog. 99 cents. That's a steal. One dollar for a soda and a hot dog? Now, if you throw some chili on there, we get a dollar chili dog and soda? I'm there. I'm in. Man, it's been so long since I had a chili dog. Now all I can think about is chili dogs. I'm trying to think. Do I actually ha do I have any chili or dogs with which to make chili dogs? And my answer, sadly, is no. Oh, we're gonna we're going for it, ladies and gents. Whoa! Nice. A little shortcut. Never heard anybody except the suspension on this bike. So I'm sure didn't appreciate what I just did in the slightest. Everything seems to be so far away in this side. It's fine, I guess, but same token, it's not fine. That's an angry bear. That's an angry bear chasing me down. Okay, thankfully it's uh, pretty far away. Oh, what am I doing here? What is this? I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't think that's what I was supposed to be going for there. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to memorize where I'm going, but like the game seems to uh, send me a different way every time I come back to base makes it pretty difficult to remember where the heck I am and where I'm going on top of my poor navigational abilities which are as always previously stated poor but we're not going back that's why we're going to the this looks like the spot let's go find some silicate yeah silicate deacon by the way right, fellas how you getting inside silicate is commonly used for drying things I grew up knowing that it was used for drawing like flowers to put in, like scrapbooks. Maybe up here. Oh Should yeah. Here. Oh, what was that? <laughs> are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? With that gas tank, and it's like, hey, surprise! I call an alarm. Oh, crows! What is this? Resident Evil? You? It's not funny. Go away. Stop looking at me. And crows, man. Whoa, 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 what was that even? The Bobcats again! Is there one of those bird nests out here? Yeah, there is, right over there. You gotta take a closer look. There's another nest. Let's burn it up. Ow, stop! Yeah, take that, birds from hell. I'm just trying to get in the general store, and I said stop laughing at me.
Okay. Does anybody else have an issue with me progressing now? Anybody at all? Ah, that's how you're getting inside. Yeah. I'm old pop store. How oh, the hell is the silicate? Yeah, I don't see it in here, Deacon. Ooh, there he is. Here we go. Silicate. This will work. Okay, now I just gotta find a way out of here. Well, I assume we're gonna push that truck out of the way. I'm more concerned with looking for stuff. Somebody didn't know. Hmm? Oh, come on, you bitch. <laughs> yes. You tell that didn't have an object, Deacon. Yes. Okay. I just park this anywhere. Yes, sir, the excitement never stops. Oh, yes, now we're going to use a return trip for the third totally different sir, back. Are you there? I've um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John, what are you doing another run for me? I don't know. Um... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Uh, fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Shit. Hey, Doc. You there? This is Corporal St. John. The Doc is Come back. Uh, St. John. How's the arm? Good. Good. Uh, that ointment or... I lost one here! Yeah, some. Yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh... Well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? I know him as well as I know any of the officers. Why? I don't know. I'm just, uh... I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just it seems like he's, um... I don't know. He's he's in her face all the time, and uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm I'm doing some runs for them for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just it seems like he's um I don't know. He's he's in her face all the time, and uh... I don't fucking like it. It's a certain amount of racing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. He meant his help. I guess that's good news. I still like things are not going to go well for us. Either way, we've got our silicate. Taylor's missing an ear, but things could be worse. Things could always be worse. Never forget that. But we'll have to figure out how much worse they could be in the next episode, because that's all the time for this episode I have to for today. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Another exciting look into the world of Days Gone. I am Devo Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below so that about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.